Good morning from Phuket, Thailand. Here you're watching me do the first static of the Wii Free Dive Sun Toe series on February 23rd, 2014. I'm currently in the last two minutes of preparation prior to my static. My breathe up was quite reduced from previous ones you might have seen me do. This is as a result of poor surfacing I did in the anime freediving competition a week ago. My goal here was to reduce my breathe up to the absolute minimum and I think I accomplished that. My breathe up was as follows. Three minutes of relaxation, normal tidal breathing, three purge breaths, four minute hold. Three minutes of relaxation, normal tidal breathing, three purge breaths, a five minute hold. About six minutes of relaxation, normal tidal breathing, three purge breaths, full inhale, no packs, and my final hold of six minutes and four seconds. This static was a competition personal best for me by three seconds and by far the highest quality static I've ever done in competition. By the way, I apologize for the lack of sound on this video. It was caused by a malfunction in the organizer's camera. In the end, it doesn't matter too much because my service protocol to finish this static is very obvious and very emphatic. Again, I apologize. Now we're off and running. Now this static is a bit of an experiment. I've never done exactly this breathe up before and I've certainly never tried anything like this in competition. So kind of a shot in the dark. But everything turned out okay in the end. Our judges today are Richard Wonka on the left and Sarah Witcher on the right. Jan Dumas is my coach in the water. I think I look a little bit stiff in the water compared to previous statics. But that's mainly a result of this wetsuit. I'm, I'm wearing a 3 mil Elios wetsuit. The water temperature is 29 degrees centigrade. And really, this is the first time I've ever done a static in competition where I wasn't either cold or hot. So it was perfect. So now my wetsuit is calibrated for 29 degree temperatures in the shade. <laughs> this is the first time I've used that wetsuit in competition. I got it for situations just like this where the water is just a little cold at least for me and uh, a 1.5 mil suit just wouldn't quite do it if I'd have been wearing a 1.5 suit like I normally do I would have been cold in this uh, in this environment not so much because of the temperature I mean I can handle 29 degrees of temperature it's the shade that gets you uh, I like doing statics in the sunshine There's really not much to say during this static. About the only thing really that happened unusual during the static was about the 3, 330 point. 
I started getting feelings, well, this is hard, I can't do it, you know, things like that. And I went through that for a few seconds, and then I just, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's get back on track here, and I, I put myself back into the zone I was in, or I wanted to be. And uh, got back into a proper frame of mind, I guess you could say. Last thing you want to be thinking during the static is how hard it is. <laughs> and uh, that would have ended this hole pretty quickly if I'd have kept it up. Now at about the three minute point on this hold, I started uh, having small contractions. For me that's expressed basically in uh, light abdominal crunches, or at least that's what it feels like. And that's not too bad in terms of when the contractions started. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. It kind of doesn't matter not too much. I don't worry about it. That's not, so not something I fixate on is when it starts or any of that. I just note it in passing. Now we're coming up on the five minute point. At about the five minute point, I start uh, another mechanism that I use to reduce discomfort. And in this, I push air from my upper lung to my lower lung to stretch my diaphragm a bit, and it seems to make me feel better. Anyway, I continue that process all the way to the end of the static. I also come to the side at five minutes, but I'm not, uh, there's no pressure on my hands there. They're just there. I'm kind of just relaxing at that position. I've already told myself I'm going to six minutes here. I probably won't go much further than that because, this, again, this is an experiment and things are unpredictable. A very emphatic surface protocol, I guess you could say. Again, as a result of my previous poor showing in the Andaman freediving competition. I already know I'm going to get a wide card on this particular performance. Uh, no problem. This was a uh, perfect surfacing for me. Couldn't ask for a better result. And thanks again to Jan for coaching me. Couldn't have done it without him. <laughs>